Propaganda machine. Propaganda machine. Propaganda machine. Propaganda machine. Propaganda machine. The media system in the U.S. today is basically the property of about two dozen companies. The lion's share of what people consume is media. Cable, television, magazines, books, the works. Of those two dozen, there's an elite first tier of about eight or nine super conglomerates. You know their names, I trust. Disney, Viacom, Rupert Murdoch's News Corporations, AOL Time Warner. This top handful of conglomerates owns, among them, top eight companies, all the Hollywood movie studios, all the television networks, over half the cable systems, the majority of the cable channels that you get, most of the books that are published, the majority of the books that are published in this country, the commercial book houses, uh, all the four music companies that sell 90% of the music in the United States. And those top eight or nine really have got a pretty tight grip on a lot of stuff. And these are largely non-competitive, oligopolistic markets where just a handful of companies dominate. Our media system, the way it exists today, is the direct result of government's laws, policies, and regulations and subsidies. In short, the system was created in our name, but without our consent. It's incredibly corrupt. Behind closed doors, no public participation, minimal media coverage. The people who run these media systems produce outcomes that are beneficial to their shareholders, beneficial to their advertisers, the core constituencies that matter to them, and quite negative for the rest of us. Having that much power in so few people, doesn't matter how good they are, what sort of people they are, it's just wrong in our democracy. Democracy is predicated on the idea that people can communicate, not just be choose from nine options that are pre-selected for them. And that's the problem with our media system. Propaganda machine. Propaganda machine.